Hi and welcome to a Kirby Maths video on writing error intervals using bounds. So in one of the previous videos we looked at how to write the upper and lower bounds of a number. So just to recap that, if I have this number 14 and I want to write the upper and lower bound of 14, remember I always start with the upper bound. The upper bound would be 14.5 because we go up half a unit and down half a unit. This was a whole number, so upper half, and then the lower bound would be down a half, so that would be 13.5. And remember, we talked about the number line and that 14 lies exactly in the middle of these two numbers. And we also talked about a convention where we don't really worry too much about the rounding effects. We just go up half a unit and down half a unit. When we're writing the error interval for this measurement, then we need to use inequality signs and consider whether or not the value could actually be equal to or whether it only goes up to uh, one of the bounds. So if I put the 14 in the middle, that would be the x, our number that we are given. And it could be 13.5. It could be equal to 13.5 because if we were to round this to two significant figures, 13.5 would round to 14 to two significant figures. When it goes up to the upper bound, it can't take that value, 14.5, because if we were to round that to two significant figures, 14.5 would round to 15. However, it can go right up to 14.499999, and that's how we use this inequality sign here. We use the lower bound and we use the upper bound the value you are given can equal the lower bound, but it can't equal the upper bound. It's slightly less than the upper bound. And this is how we write an error interval. Let's have another look. Um, let's have a look at another example. So if we have a number like this, um, 175.6, and I want to write the error interval for this. First of all, I think about my upper and lower bounds. So I write 175.6. My upper bound would be 175.65. My lower bound would be 175.55. That lies in the middle of it. And then I would use this notation to write my error interval. So the lowest value, 175.55, it could equal that. And it goes all the way up to 175.65, the upper bound, but it doesn't actually ever equal that value. Thanks for watching.